So these are the supplies you're gonna need. So first of all, you're gonna need a wooden board or any type of board that you can put the string onto, which the paint is going to hang from. This one's just one we got from Michael's and it has a nice finish. Um, and you're gonna need hot glue and some of the refills because you're gonna end up needing a lot of hot glue. Um, you're also going to need some yarn or string, which is what the paint is going to hang from. Um, we have white, but you can really use whatever color you have. You're also going to need the paint, which is what is going to hang from the string. Um, and then you're going to also need some paper or binder clips, which is what the paint is going to hang from. We have some gold ones here, which match our wood nicely. All right, so let's get started. First, we're gonna start off by measuring the white yarn uh, to go all across the board. And initially, we started off by snaking four bits of string across the board, but later we realized that it would be too close together when the paint tubes actually hung down. So we, just, we decided to go with two instead. So you're gonna snip off the snaky essence on both the sides to leave you with two instead of four strings. That's the second one, and then the last one right there. And then make sure that the two strings are adjusted equal length, so one at the top and then one um, in the middle end. So now what we're gonna do is glue the two ends of the string on the back of the board so that when that's done you can actually hang tubes from it and so i'm going to put a little dot of hot glue on the bottom and then on top of the string um, and you're going to have to make sure that you pull it extra tight so that the string doesn't sag so once you're done securing both the ends at the back we can go ahead and start sorting out our paint tubes by color just to make it look aesthetic here then we are going to take our paint tubes and attach either a binder clip or paper clips to the paint tube and then attach those on the string. So here we realize because of the weight of the paint tubes that the string started to sag. Um, so what we did was halfway through we decided to pull the string up a little bit and glue it right there. We then repeated the same thing at one fourth and three fourth lengths of the string. This will ensure that when the board stands upright that the string doesn't sag due to the weight of the paint tubes. And so after I have attached the second string to the board, I'm just gonna show you how I actually attach the paper clip. Um, and the little paint tubes I'm using right now have a little slot that you can bend up which allows the paper clip to rest in that little gap and that just makes sure it doesn't fall off. And here again I'm just adding some hot glue to the string to make sure that it's reinforced and it doesn't sag too much because um, the paint tubes are quite heavy so i'm just adding it to a quarter of the way half the way and then three quarters of the way and now here as you can tell like you can see the hot glue spots and they don't look the best and so i have like these flowers fake flowers laying around the house which i thought would look cute to cover the hot glue and i also have some vines laying around so what you can do is just hot glue the flowers onto where the hot glue spots were and i'll just hide the glue and add pretty little touches of detail and then over here i'm just attaching a vine to the top and then later i do it to the bottom here i have just added a big old sunflower and more vines on the top and now i'm just going to put some little ferns um, in and around the actual board here i just have a little flower so it fit and put a few ferns around it and now i'm just going to put a vine on the bottom just so it evens out a little bit So 
so this is the final product guys i really liked how it turned out it has a very organic look to it with the flowers and the vines on the edges i like that the gold pins go really well with the brown board so yeah feel free to like comment and subscribe